Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to part two for the week of February 21st. Uh, this is part one right here, and if you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. So we're just gonna uh, clarify through here, Scorpio, and see what is going on for you. Uh, with the time for a nap card, you have this breathe card. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I, I don't know. I, you know, if I'm being honest with you, Scorpio, I think that this is true for everybody. I think for you know, the foreseeable future. <laughs> Everybody should take some deep breaths. Um, you know, I just think the stuff in the media and the news, all that other stuff, and probably just gonna get crazier. I think we're, actually, I think things are gonna improve for people in general, but I think just the stuff that we'll see is gonna require some deep breaths. So, you know, no freaking out, no panicking. If, you know, none of that is what I would say here. With the Nine of Wands, you have the Fool. So definitely time for a leap of faith. You have the Fool twice in your reading, and you know, I feel like you're more than prepared. It, sometimes I feel the Fool energy is kind of like an energy of over-preparation. It can say that you're trying to over-prepare for something that you're already prepared for. So I kind of feel like it's saying, if you're thinking about starting a new business, starting anything new, new relationship, new getting a puppy, I don't, I don't care. Whatever you think you're thinking about starting, I would just get going. This card says, like you are over prepared, you have more than enough. So really, I actually kind of like that because it says you will be successful. You are more than ready to go on this journey. And again, here's the other thing is that you have the world right next to the fool uh, in this part of your reading. So that pretty much guarantees your success. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Two of Cups. If you are looking for love, uh, this is amazing. Uh, two of Cups is uh, usually a person who really wants to put the work in. It's kind of funny because uh, in the yearly readings that I did this year, uh, I remember the Two of Cups coming up a lot. And I kept saying, you know, it's, it's so weird that, <laughs> that the Two of Cups is coming up for everyone. And the Two of Cups can actually represent attracting a person who is very, very different than what you're used to. They, these two, they are meant to look like two completely different people. Uh, the reason for that is that it can represent attracting a person who comes from a very different background or attracting a person who is very different than your usual type. So if you're attracting love, I feel like you could be attracting a very different person. It could be any sign, but you have a Capricorn and um, Aquarius, a Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo here as well. But again, general reading could be any sign. So take it how it resonates. Um, and I love that... Um, it shows up as three of pentacles, two of cups. Three of pentacles is someone who really wants to put the work in, someone who really wants to, you know, do a good job, someone who really wants to make it happen as far as love is concerned. So I definitely feel that. With the three of swords, you have the ten of cups. So fortune after difficulty, um, major improvements coming in for you here with the ten of cups. Um, and I love that with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, total heartbreak. This is the total opposite. And uh, it's also kind of like your wildest dreams. You know, these this family, they are, maybe they're imagining those cups that are in the rainbow there. So they're just like choosing to be happy and just a really good card of a celebration as well. And again, you have the Four of Wands, which is also could be a celebration. A lot of happiness here in your reading. With the Total Immersion card, you have this Take Note card here. And uh, I'll read it to you now. It says, your answers are being given to you. Uh, quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. Exactly what I said with that breathe card. Again, I feel like, uh, again, I, I keep warning people against the media or the news because guess what? The people on the media and the news, they're just going to get louder and louder and louder and louder and more extreme, more extreme, more extreme. Why? Because they're dying, right? And um, so I feel for a lot, of, you know, I feel a lot of things, it, you know, are just becoming unnecessary. Usually, usually when something becomes unnecessary, it screams louder and louder and louder, right? Uh, trying to get attention. That's literally how they survive. And they also survive by lying. So the lies are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Ignore it is what I would say here with this energy. Uh, I would also just focus on what's important with this uh, card, like your health, your happiness, your family, you know, all those, all those good things is what I would say here. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the King of Swords. Uh, King of Swords card of Law and Order. Um, all three water signs have had the King of Swords, I'm pretty sure. And so what I would say here is that the King of Swords, I feel, could be kind of like Law and Order entering into your life uh, with this energy. Uh, also a card of like wisdom. Mm, you know, I feel it would be a really good time if you're looking for experts or if you need help in business or anything. You know, finding an expert would be a good idea. With the Four of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. I actually really like this. 
Definitely, if you're attracting a person to love, this is like a person who wants something permanent, someone who wants to build something serious. Uh, definitely, I feel there's a major change in love. I've talked about it before. Uh, I blame you, <laughs> Scorpio, because you know we, we started these Scorpio cycles back in like the 70s, uh, which is when divorce like reached a peak. You know, Divorce went way up. Um, those Scorpio cycles have now come to an end. I actually feel like we're gonna see divorces coming to an end. Um, you know, that doesn't really mean that um, there won't be divorce. And I also don't necessarily think it means that um, pe more people will be getting married. I think actually less people are going to be getting married, but the people that do will be getting married for the right reason. So, you know, really good if you're looking to get married, even if you don't want to get married, um, you know, this could just be a permanent, you know, connection, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I really like that uh, for you. With the Five of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands encourages you to go on the adventure that is the Five of Wands. I call the Five of Wands Indiana Jones because it can represent like a crazy opportunity that's coming into your life. You know, it represents conflict and competition, but it's not always a bad thing. And again, they're using sticks, like I said. So it kind of says, go through it and see what's on the other side. There might be some treasure. So I do feel that the Page of Wands could represent an opportunity for you to go on like some sort of crazy adventure with that Five of Wands and it could lead to a lot of success. I don't think it's a coincidence that you have the Fool and then the World right down here. Um, so, you know, that makes perfect sense to me, Scorpio, <laughs> is what I'd say to you. With the Hawk Spirit, you have the Moth Spirit it says, Surrender Now. So I feel like you need to surrender to your future visions for your life with that hawk spirit. Uh, you know, the thing about hawks is that they get chased by little birds, you know? And so, you know, the hawk medicine, part of the hawk totem meaning as well, is that, you know, other people in your life might not agree with what you're doing. But again, I like to remind people, it's your life. It's not their life, right? So who cares what other people think is what I would say there. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, you have the Five of Wands again. Mm, I feel like you need to realize that this is temporary as well. It's kind of interesting because this is giving me like Rite of Passage vibes. You know, it's giving me the kind of like the vibes of, you know, going into the military. Um, I'm not saying that you're going into the military, but I feel like some of you could be, it's almost like you're going to basic training for something here. It's like you don't want to do it, but, you know, there is an end result here. Um, so that's just an example. That's the best example I could come up with here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, but I would say that some of you, it's like you could be going through something that's like difficult, but there's also a reward attached to it. Um, you know, so it could be like building a business and you have to do the beginning stuff, which, you know, sometimes is hard. Same thing with a relationship as well. It's like maybe you have to date a bunch of bozos, but it's like then when you meet the right person, it's like, wow, you know, this person makes everybody else look, look like a bozo. <laughs> so there you go. With the uh, Ace of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is about focusing on the right thing. She's focused on the pentacle. She's not focused on this rabbit that's down here. Rabbits can represent abundance and fleetness, you know, things moving quickly. But on the Queen of Pentacles, it can also represent your fears. Um, but she's focused on the pentacle. She's not focusing on the fears. So she's focusing on the end result. She's focusing on the resources. She's focusing on creating something that she wants to create. And that's exactly uh, what you should be doing with the Queen of Pentacles here, Scorpio. Uh, with the Fool, you have the star. Love it. Um, you know, here's the thing about the Fool. He's about to take a leap of faith. The star could be the thing that is giving him hope, faith, or, you know, kind of giving him the guts to take that leap of faith. Um, the, the star represents inspiration as well because she's pouring water onto the land here and the water she's pouring onto the land, it's like, you know, it basically represents that if something is possible for one person, it's possible for you. And, um, you know, so the water is going out onto the earth. And I feel that for you where it's like you're being inspired. There's also a bird here up in this, uh, tree. It's an ibis right above my finger. You can kind of see it. And it represents seeing the big picture. And I feel that, again, with the hawk spirit, it's like you see the big picture. Again, I feel like you're overprepared for like some sort of new beginning. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull an extra oracle card for this last row. We'll do this one uh, right here. It says, dis uh, uh, it says distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible. There you go. Uh, use your determination to hang in there until you realize your goals. So there you go. Anything is possible. I definitely feel that for you. And you have the world, which is the accomplishment of your goal, Scorpio. So I definitely feel you are accomplishing goals or reaching new heights at this time. Uh, with the devil, you have the moon. The moon is like a card of fears. You know, it's a card of fears, illusions, fantasies. But the moon, I always say, doesn't say stop. There's a path that runs straight down the middle of the moon. And the path ends in some mountains. 
mountains in the tarot represent accomplishments. So I feel like there's some like pretty big accomplishments coming in for you, but it's like, you're gonna have to go down, you're gonna have to go through the moon period. You're gonna have to, you know, um, kind of go through the darkness. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This will make you very successful. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles is amazing. Uh, it's like pre Empress energy. Uh, it's also a card of excellence as well because she is growing. She's you know harvesting some grapes, and you know the the whole point of grapes in the tarot is that grapes are considered to be difficult to grow. They require like a lot of skill to be able to grow them, and so she kind of represents having a skill. That's exactly what I was saying with the Eight of Pentacles in the first reading is that that eight of pentacles, I feel like he's very focused on getting results. And I was also saying, like I was saying how I, f I feel in your reading that he's like really, he wants to know that certain things are going to work, right? Or he wants to know that he's doing things for like on purpose. I think that's what I said in your first reading. And that's what I feel here as well. It's like you are doing things on purpose and this is the result. It's like abundance. You know, she's a card of luxury and gratitude. Uh, she represents having the nicer things in life. So I really feel there's a lot of just good stuff coming in for you with the nine of pentacles, probably like a lot of abundance as well. Uh, with the world card, you have the knight of cups. There you go. Um, <laughs> the knight of cups could be a knight in shining armor. It could be anything, but uh, it definitely could be love. And I do feel this is a pretty good love reading, but um, the knight of cups could also be like your dreams. He is imagining what he wants inside this cup right here, Scorpio. He is imagining mm, like what it would look like to have everything he wants. He's normally like looking into that cup and he's imagining his future. So definitely time to dream big for you here, Scorpio, with this energy. I also feel like it's time for you to like focus on what you really want. And you know, again, I think the one thing that could be holding you back is the middle, right? <laughs> is like the beginning stuff. It's like this reading is really very specific to me, for, for you, I should say, you know, to me, it's just saying that it's like you see something you want, you're very, very much prepared for it, whether it's like true love, a business, whatever you want, doesn't matter, Nine of Cups is whatever you want, and it's like you're over prepared for it, but I feel like what you're worrying about, Nine of Swords, Devil, Moon, Five of Wands, is like the beginning stuff, or like, really, it's like the middle, like the messy stuff, you know, the needing to go on dates to find love, needing to set up the business, needing to go get do paperwork, and you know, all that other stuff, if you want a business, needing to go on interviews, if you want a job. So um, I don't want to say get over it, but uh, get over it, <laughs> Scorpio, because there's a lot of success here. So I would encourage you to, you know, kind of um, go through the darkness, basically, is what this is saying, because uh, I feel like you're going to be very successful. You know, living your wildest dream, whatever, with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups as well. Uh, so, love it. Uh, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.